Hey guys, today we are going to a jackpot barrel race at the Arkansas State University Equine Center. So first I get all their shipping boots on. So here I am putting Scout's shipping boots on. Uh, I'm actually not running him today. He has a different game plan, but he is tagging along. Chester got to walk around and eat a little bit before we loaded up while I cleaned stalls. And then it was time to go fetch him so I could put his shipping boots on. Perfect. Um, he hates them, but they're super cute in my opinion. Kaya had on bell boots because I do not have a third pair of shipping boots. They all go out fly masks on before getting in the trailer to protect their eyes from anything blowing around inside the trailer. Last but not least, a 22-year-old kite. <laughs> he has not run in six months, but he really likes this arena and the hall is not too far, so I brought him. First up was Chester, so I get him all brushed up. I brush super, super good because I do not want there to be anything under the saddle that is going to bother him or be uncomfortable. Today he gets to wear his all black set of boots and please do not judge the bell boots. I am having a shortage of good bell boots currently. I don't know. I think I hid them from myself. I do not know what I did with them. And I don't like red on red horses, but it had to be done, okay? Just, it had to. Believe me, please. I picked his feet to make sure there weren't any rocks or anything uncomfortable in there. That could bother him. I put his warm-up tack on that is not the same as his running. I like to have this bit on to warm up and then switch to the running bit with the short reins. He started off kind of hot. I walked for a while before I asked for anything, let him see everything. I don't want to just hop on out of the trailer and immediately ask them to trot or anything. He started off um, pretty hot. Uh, the cool weather was definitely making him feel good and like we should run so here he is <laughs> definitely not doing the lope I want but I just have to work with him and bring him down to a slower lope. Uh, I knew he was going to be like this based on the weather and how he acted last time I rode him but he actually came down really good and here you can see he is listening a little bit better. Not perfect, but I thought it was great for today. I go both ways to make sure both sides are equally warm, and then it's time to run.
I gave him a treat because he did super, super good. And while I tech up Kite, I'm going to talk to you about his run. Jester had a really nice run. I mean, I always see stuff I can improve on. But he got third in the open, and we won the adult side pot. So that was really good. He won almost $1,000. So very happy with it. Kite is 22 years old, and I have not run him in six months, but the other day, he was absolutely tearing up the pasture, so I decided that since this race was so close that I would take him too. Uh, I didn't expect much from him. I knew, like, no matter what happened, I was going to be happy with him. I'm just happy to be able to, to run him again. He is basically retired, but like I said, this jackpot was close, and he had been feeling good recently. So he got to run, and we had a lot of fun. I forgot how much I have to help him, because <laughs> on Chester and Scout, I don't have to help them that much around the barrels. The rate is there, and honestly, I need to stay out of their way more, but Kite needs a little help. So you'll see me help him on the first and second barrel, but then my brain, like, short circuits and goes back to Chester and Scout. <laughs> so I didn't help him enough on the third, but honestly, I was super happy with it. He had not run in six months, and I had not gone through the barrels on him at all, really. <laughs> got some alfalfa to snack on while I packed everything up and got everything back in the trailer and then they also got these bags in the trailer with them for the ride home. When we got back, they all got their blankies on. Kite has to have the slinky because he will absolutely destroy whatever blanket you put on him. And they were all comfy with mashes to make sure we replenish their water and their electrolytes. And then they were good to go to sleep with all their snacks. Okay, bye. Bye. 